Now for the more advanced features set, you're going to go up to the My Sites, create a new site, um, and you can just go to Portfolio again. But instead of using ADI, we're going to use the Wix editor. So I click Start with Editor here. Whoops. Um, it's going to give us a lot more control over what we do here. So I'm just going to do a blank template for now and start from scratch and hit Edit. And it's going to load up, and you are going to see that it's completely blank. And then from there, you can add things. So I can add everything in uh, from scratch. So I'm just going to, you know, put this randomly in. That's a picture. I can have all these controls up here. Crop, image filters, animate. If I right-click on things, I have options. Um, I can add more. I can add buttons. So that'll be like navigation buttons on a website. If I click and drag them out. I can change the text by changing them. This is a much richer feature set, um, but it is a little bit more advanced. So when you get the hang of Wix, you're going to want to have uh, something that uses that. So uh, this will give you way more control over what you do. So just so you know, it's there. And of all these uh, controls over here, you have backgrounds, and apps, and uh, you can add so many different things, uh, lists, menus, contacts, music, videos, all sorts of stuff. Again, you don't want to put anything personal, but this is a more um, advanced tool. And then you would click save when you're done, and then when you're ready to leave, you go to site, exit editor, and that will exit you out of your website, because you can have multiple websites here to edit. So that's a little bit how to use the more advanced uh, features of Wix.